Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we hope you are enjoying the last science show as much as all of our other fans are. We are making history as we talk about history, black history specifically. We love honoring black scientists from yesterday and today. Let's honor another living legend who has made huge contributions to various scientific fields, Dr. J. Marshall Shepard. He is a leading international expert in weather and climate and is the Georgia Athletic Association Distinguished Professor of Geography and Atmospheric Sciences at the University of Georgia. Let's talk about Dr. Shep. Dr. Shepard is originally from Canton, Georgia. He received his BS, MS, and PhD in physical meteorology from Florida State University. He was the first African American to receive a PhD from the Florida State University Department of Meteorology, one of the nation's oldest and respected. He is also the second African American to preside over the American Meteorological Society. He is also a member of the Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity, Inc and serves on various national boards associated with his alma mater. Dr. Shepard co-authored a children's book on weather and weather instruments called Dr. Fred's Weather Watch. He is also the co-founder of the Alcova Elementary Weather Science Chat series that exposes K-5 through students to world-class scientists. Dr. Shepard was the 2013 President of American Meteorological Society, the nation's largest and oldest professional science society in the atmospheric and related sciences. Dr. Shepard serves as Director of the University of Georgia's Atmospheric Sciences Program and full professor in the Department of Geography where he was a previous Associate Department Head. He is also the host of the Weather Channel's award-winning show, Weather Geeks, a pioneering Sunday talk podcast and show uh, and a contributor to Forbes magazine. In 2021, Dr. Shepard was elected to the National Academy of Sciences, National Academy of Engineering, and American Academy of Arts and Sciences, some of the highest honors that a scientist or engineer can achieve. He is the first UGA faculty member in history to achieve this trifecta, and likely the first African American to do so. Per NAS, he may be the second person to be elected to all three of those academies in one year. In 2021, Dr. Shepard received the American Geological Institute's Award for Outstanding Contribution to the Public Understanding of the Geosciences. Dr. Shepard is the 2020 Manny L. Bahamic Award for Public Engagement with Science from the American Association for the Advancement of Science, the 2019 recipient of the AGU Climate Communication Prize, and in 2017, he was honored with the AMS Brooks Award, a high honor within the field of meteorology. Ted Turner and his Captain Planet Foundation honored Dr. Shepard in 2014 with its Protector of the Earth Award. Prior recipients include Aaron Brockovich and former EPA Administrator Lisa Jackson. He is also the 2015 recipient of the Association of American Geographers Media Achievement Award, the Florida State University Grads Made Good Award, and the UGA Franklin College of Arts and Sciences Sandy Beaver Award for Excellence in Teaching. In 2021, Dr. Shepard moderated, in conjunction with the White House and State Department, the U.S. Center video at COP26. And in 2015, he moderated the White House Champions for Change event. He is an alumnus of the prestigious SEC Academic Leadership Fellows Program. Prior to the UGA, Dr. Shepard spent 12 years as a research meteorologist at NASA Goddard Space Flight Center and was deputy project scientist for the Global Precipitation Measurement Mission, a multinational space mission that launched in 2014. President Bush honored him on May 4, 2004 at the White House with the Presidential Early Career Award for pioneering scientific research in weather and climate science. Dr. Shepard is a fellow of the American Meteorological Society. Two national magazines, the AMS and Florida State University have also recognized Dr. Shepard for his significant contributions. Dr. Shepard is frequently sought as an expert on weather, climate, and remote sensing. 
He routinely appears on CBS, Face the Nation, Nova, The Today Show, CNN, Fox News, The Weather Channel, and several other great sources. His TEDx Atlanta talk on slaying climate zombies is one of the most viewed climate lectures on YouTube. Dr. Shepard is also frequently asked to advise key leaders at NASA, the White House, Congress, Department of Defense, and officials from foreign countries. In February 2013, Dr. Shepard befriended the U.S. Senate on climate exchange and extreme weather. He has also written several editorials for CNN, Washington Post, Atlanta Journal-Constitution, and numerous other outlets, and has been featured in Time Magazine, Popular Mechanics, and NPR Science Friday. He has over 90 peer-reviewed scholarly publications. Dr. Shepard has attracted $3 million in extramural research support from NASA. Wow, accomplished so much in such a short amount of time. Dr. Shepard, you are an excellent example of perseverance and passion. We loved honoring you. Your love for science has inspired each and every one of us viewing. I know it inspired me. So I thank you so much, uh, you personally, for tuning in to this video. Continue to like, subscribe, and comment for great content from The Last Science Show. Happy Black History Month. We appreciate you. So good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good science. The first black scientist we are going to honor is George Washington Carver. George Washington Carver was an African-American scientist and educator. Carver is famous for many inventions, including a number of uses for the peanut. George Washington Carver was born enslaved and went on to become one of the most prominent scientists and inventors of his time, as well as a teacher of the Tuskegee Institute. Carver devised over 100 products using one major crop, the peanut, including dyes, plastics, and gasoline. Carver was most likely born in 1864, enslaved in Diamond, Missouri, during the Civil War years. Like many children of the enslaved, uh, the exact year and date of his birth are unknown. Carver was one of many children born to Mary and Giles, an enslaved couple owned by Moses Carver. A week after his birth, Carver was kidnapped along with his sister and mother from the Carver farm by raiders from the neighboring state of Arkansas. The three were later sold in Kentucky. Among them, only the infant Carver was located by an agent of Moses Carver and returned to Missouri. The conclusion of the Civil War in 1865 brought the end of slavery in Missouri. Moses and his wife Susan decided to keep Carver and his brother James at their house after that time. As she had been in high school, Jemison was very involved in extracurricular activities at Stanford, including dance and theater productions, and served as head of the Black Student Union. She received a Bachelor of Science degree in Chemical Engineering from the university in 1977. Upon graduation, she entered Cornell University Medical College and, during her years there, found time to expand her horizons by studying in Cuba and Kenya and working at a Cambodian refugee camp in Thailand. After Jemison obtained her MD in 1981, she interned at Los Angeles County slash University of Southern California Medical Center and later worked as a general practitioner. For the next two and a half years, she was the Area Peace Corps Medical Officer for Sierra Leone and Liberia, where she also taught and did medical research. Following her return to the United States in 1985, Jemison made a career change and decided to follow a dream she had nurtured for a long time. 